hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial today what i'm going to be teaching you is how to make a block like an apple leaf block that will basically spawn items around it if there is a air block next to it and it's going to spawn the um, particular uh, item that you want to generate in uh, the center of the blocks next to it where it's testing for so if it does find that then it's basically going to just spawn in uh, spawn a gem so we'll be covering how to do this today and uh, it's pretty sh uh, simple so we'll be able to cover it in all one episode so let's uh, hop into the MP crater and I'll show you how all this works. okay so the three um, elements that I actually have are apple leaves bear, apple leaves fruit where all the procedures are going, and the apple fruit update tick. So this is the uh, basically the procedure for this particular block. So for the settings for the block, um, it's pretty straightforward. I've used a custom leaf just to make it so it's transparent. and. Um, I'll be uh, providing that in the download below so you guys can quickly fix uh, the transparency issue with like leaf textures and stuff like that. Um, for rotation, I don't have anything. I have set the, uh, this actually should be transparent or translucent. So the next thing that um, basically works is the translucency and then the Basically, the model is still a, a solid block, so that's all fine. Uh, for the particle effects, uh, this is needed for the particle effects. Uh, that's why when you're using custom models, it's always going to inherit the texture here for your uh, when you break the block or place the block and stuff like that. Uh, the particle effects are actually inherited here. So the leaves. Um, for the material, the um, creative inventory tab is decorations. The settings for hardness and resistance for leaves is uh, 0.2 for hardness and uh, 1 for resistance. I have the update tick to one, uh, 1 minute, so 20 times 60 is uh, 1,200, so that's 1 minute that will test for a um, run the procedure so that's you might want to increase that if it's spawning too much for you uh, if not then you can lower it to have it uh, spawn at a more uh, frequent rate uh, the or directory name I've just used uh, tree leaves because it's kind of like a leaf block so uh, that's basically what I've set it to uh, block color on map is foliage this will basically have it as uh, like leaf textures or grass textures for that same color and um, pretty much all this other stuff isn't um, required. So if we head over to this side, I have it so it will drop a apple block or at apple item, and um, then the amount that it's going to drop is one. It's affected by silk touch. The creative pick item is going to be the same thing because it's not set to anything and the tool able to destroy it is an axe because we don't have shears so i'm just using an axe for that uh tool harvest level to break with drop is um one but i think that is not really relevant for leaves uh sound on step is plant and uh, everything else is basically the default uh, i didn't add any particles and i didn't add um an inventory so that's all fine and the update tick is here which if we open it here uh, we'll be able to see how it all works so it's consistent of um, basically this uh, unit and it's basically testing it for all six sides so I'll just cover this section and I'll kind of explain how the rest works um, briefly so basically we're created an if statement for testing if the block next to it um, positive x is um, an air block if so then what it's going to do is spawn one apple um, in the coordinates of 1.5 so this will spawn it in the center of x and uh, plus 0.05 so 
uh, half a direction up. So it's in the center uh, y connect or center of the block on the y axis, and then uh, 0.5 on z axis. So it's going to spawn it directly in the center of the air block on X. So that's basically how that's all coded. It's going to do the same for each one of these and how this basically works is if it doesn't find an air block here it's going to move on to this and if that still can't find then it's going to move on to that direction and it's just going to continue until it reaches this final direction. If it still can't find anything then it's not going to spawn anything. So that's basically the gist of it. All these coordinates are properly filled out so uh, when you're actually um, spawning your item, it's always going to be in the center of that particular block. So uh, again, all the workspace and uh, textures and all that other stuff will be able to be downloaded um, on my website or from the um, page that I have for my tutorials on Amp Creator as well. So you'll be able to get the files for this particular project uh, free of charge. So outside of that, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to uh, subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.